Hi everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So in this video, I wanted to visit or rather revisit the video of Shonda Van Der Ark being arrested and processed through to the jail because if it wasn't, if the events that led up to this arrest weren't so incredibly, incredibly sad and tragic, her behavior during this video would be comical. Like if someone was watching it, not knowing the background, they would just be laughing their butts off. I actually tonight at dinner showed this video to Eric because I, he only saw one part of it where the uh, female officer is, does not care about her doctor's note. Um, and you'll see that in this video. Um, I, he's only seen that part, which he loves, but he watched the whole thing with me. And he was just, he was like, yeah, if I didn't know what she did, this would be humorous. Um, just the whole thing. So there's some clips of it I wanna comment on. And it's just, I just really, you know, I, I don't like to use the word hate, but I hate this woman. I do, I hate this woman. And I think that's an ugly word to use. So it's reserved for very few people. I hate this woman and I hate Stefan Stearns. If you don't know who Stefan Stearns is, that'll be talked about in another video. Um, he's the one that is um, in jail now for the Madeline Soto case. So, you know, look that up if you don't know who he is, but I will be discussing that in another video. And I've discussed it in previous videos as well. But yeah, Shonda is, in a way, in a way, she's almost worse than Stefan Stearns. I mean, he is a monster. Don't get me wrong. He is an absolute disgusting human being and does not deserve the same, to breathe the same air as any of us. But she was this child's mother. She was Timothy's mother. And so I, I probably should have said this earlier, but for those of you who don't know, Shonda Van Der Ark basically starved and tortured her 15-year-old autistic son to death. And that's what we're going to talk about. And uh, this video is probably gonna get dinged, but that's okay um, because I, I wanna talk about this. So I'm going to just show you each clip and then I'll discuss it, okay? All right, um, you're gonna be charged with uh, child abuse right now. Um, I believe it's the first or second degree. So it, it is a felony. So you, you won't be able to get out of jail until you see the judge, until the warrant paperwork's down there, okay? Which will probably be tomorrow. All right. No, uh, I'm, I'm the bearer of bad news right now. Thank you. No. Yeah, it's been a bad couple days. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Nope, you're alright. Um, I do have to handcuff you, but I'll do it in the front. Okay. Um, but my blood sugar crashes, I need that. Are you, are you diabetic? I'm reactive hypoglycemic. Okay, you take medication for that? No, I have a sort of stuff normally, but I didn't bring him. Yeah. For good reason. To see she's just like oh feel sorry for me feel sorry for me please just she's a fake she's a phony I don't buy a second of this she's you know to pretend like I don't believe she cared about her husband's stroke I don't believe she cared at all about anybody you can't be this demonic towards one person and have ever cared about anyone in your life I I, I don't believe she's she cares about anybody but Shonda, she's a monster and she's just act she's putting on. It is, like I said, if the events that led to this weren't so tragic, this would be hilarious to me. She is just, and I, I had heard, and I'll have to look into it further, that all these medical issues she talks about, that she has not been officially diagnosed with anything is she self-diagnosed that's just what i heard so take that with a grain of salt but just it's just this performance it's 
And she's a worse actress than Gypsy Rose. Not straight to do anything like that. I wouldn't anyway. Did y'all lose an officer? Well, I have to cover you now. I'm just loud, huh? Did y'all lose somebody? Yes, a Detroit so officer was killed yesterday. I'm so sorry. Yep. Uh, now, of course, she has to try and suck up to the police officer. What does she think? Does she think it's going to help her? Does she think it's going to be like, oh, wait, she's concerned about our falling brothers. And, um, and she's really, she's sick. So... And she's crying or pretending to cry. This is like, <laughs> it's not real crying. It, does she think it's going to be like, oh, okay, we're just going to drop the charges and let you go. You're pathetic. You're pitiful. So, I mean, I don't understand what she stands to get out of this performance. I mean, just be normal. She's trying, I don't know. She's just. If this is called something, what she's doing, <laughs> like it's like there's a scientific term for this, what she's doing, but I, I don't know what it, I can't remember what it is, but this behavior is, it's disgusting to me. First of all, she has no business being all pitiful and acting like she doesn't feel good and she's sick and she's ill after what she's done, after what she's done to her child, Timothy, and Apparently, she at least severely neglected her other children. She has no business standing there acting like this. And this officer does not need to be as nice as he's being to her. He can just do his job silently, but he's he's trying to be human to her. And um, kudos to him because I don't think I could do that. I don't think that I could treat her like a human being. I just, she's monstrous. She's a demon. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> She's awful. You know, I, I have asthma and I've had some pretty bad asthma attacks. And uh, I know faking an asthma attack will bring on an asthma attack. And that is faking. She is faking an asthma attack. Like, she's just a hideous person. She's just got, she's got no business behaving this way. Even if, even though I think she's completely fake and everything, this entire video, it, the whole thing is just a phony. She's just a phony baloney. But even if this was genuine and she was really feeling this sickly and this horrible and this awful, screw her. Screw her. She doesn't deserve any sympathy ever, ever. She should have got the death penalty, in my opinion. She tortured her son to death. She should have got the death penalty. <sighs> Pardon? Oh, I've got those. Okay. Okay, I'm lightheaded. I'm sorry. That's oh. right. You guys, she's getting lightheaded. I wonder how lightheaded Timothy felt by not getting fed. You think he was ever lightheaded? Bitch, why don't you try some wall sets? See if that helps. <sighs> Take these on. Can you just sit, sir? Huh? Can you just sit while you sit? I'm trying not to. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a worse actress than Gypsy Rose. I don't buy a second of this. <clears throat> But even if it was genuine, if, if she was really, again, like I said before, feeling this way, she doesn't deserve one damn bit of sympathy. If she was really, like, really this messed up, like, and if they believed that they bought her behavior, they would take her to the emergency room because they wouldn't want to be held liable for anything that went wrong there. So I feel kind of like the police aren't buying any of this poor me syndrome from her. 
Hey, hey, hey. Howdy, howdy. What's going on? Long so, time, long time no see. I know, right? I try not to come here. I know, right? I need you to take your headband off for me, too, as well. She has a scrunchie, also. Yep, they gotta come out this way. Is she was, wrong with you? She's feeling a little lightheaded. My stomach's really upset. Oh, is it? Okay. I love that female officer. Is something wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, there's something wrong with her. She murdered her 15-year-old autistic son. She's insane. Um, and she's like, my stomach is really upset. And she's feeling lightheaded. <sighs> she's just got no nerve. She, or she's got some nerve to say anything like that after what she's done. She doesn't deserve to feel sick or pain or anything for the rest of her life she is is evil and she is dirt <sighs> no because dirt is useful you can actually use dirt so i take that back she's not dirt that's an insult to dirt sorry dirt all right linda are you have any other last names what's my maiden name what's your maiden name ramsey you do drugs no, no. Do you do drugs? <laughs> I love that. She is just, um, this, I, 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 I don't believe the male officer is buying this performance at all either. I think he's just doing his job and trying to get it over with. But this, this uh, female officer, she's not buying it for a second. And she's just not going to let her get away with any bull crap. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that lady. Somebody get her on a talk show. I want to, I would love to hear what she thinks of all this, but she probably can't really say so. But yeah, I like this. <laughs> I like this lady. She's not letting her get away with anything. <laughs> I would have to keep anything down since yesterday. Um, She's had a, a rough two days. Okay. Her, uh, four, her 15 year old son died yesterday. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And she's charged with child abuse. Mm. Okay. So she. Yeah. Her 15 year old son died because of her actions, because of her evil deeds. And uh, the, like, like the judge said, she didn't want Timothy to die because she wanted to be able to continue to torture him. I agree with the judge on that one. She's That's why she's so upset. She doesn't have anyone to torture anymore. Maybe she'll find a girlfriend to bully in prison, but something tells me those hardened criminals in prison are not going to take kindly to her once they find out what she did. If they know, maybe they know by now. I know sometimes it takes a bit for the word to get around, but, you know, who knows? I know she doesn't like the food in prison. Oh, well. Maybe you should try bread with hot sauce on it. Try that, Shonda. Bread with hot sauce. Mmm. She has a lot of medical problems, but she really doesn't take any medication. But she does need, um... Any mental health issues at all? Yeah. Uh, ADHD? ADHD. OCD. Oh, OCD and sensory. OCD just means she's putting one spot over and over again, I think. Sometimes. That's so actually... One form, it's not the form. I, I know what OCD is. Um, she does have, she says, allergy-induced um, asthma, so she can't wear masks. I had a doctor's note. I didn't, I didn't bring it with me. I didn't know. I hate to tell you this. This is not school. Doctor knows who not work. We have our own doctors, and um, they will deal with you on that. That's fine. And then she's she does have. <laughs> I love that. I hate to tell you this, but this isn't school. I don't care about her doctor's note. I <laughs> don't care about that. Um, and I, I have asthma. I had no problem wearing a mask ever. I had no issues with wearing a mask. Like, um, and my asthma is anxiety and allergy induced. And honestly, I never had. In fact, I would say probably because the mask uh, blocked a lot of allergens. I had fewer aller um, um, asthma attacks. I very rarely have asthma attacks. It's rare, but it does happen. But, um, 
she's so full of shit. I'm sorry. She's just full of shit. There's just no other way to say it. She is full of shit. And, um, just not buying it for a second from her. She is repulsive. She is repulsive. It has muscle. She she might need a buterol as an emergency. You know. <laughs> Do you have a prescription for albuterol? Al Insulin. Al yeah. You can place your hands up there. It's gonna be harmless. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Sorry. Yeah, just like the um the hands. There you go. Yeah, there there's pictures on the wall for you, my dear. Uh, oh, I'm not. That's all right. Never You're not. You've never done this before, so. I feel like that uh, <laughs> that cop is looking back at him like that. Like, why are you coddling this piece of shit? You know, <laughs> I don't know if she knows exactly what she did at this point, but still, she. I feel like he was. She was kind of looking at him like, "Quit babying her," you know. And um, I think that 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 man was. I think he was just a nice officer, and he is just trying to, you know. The rest of her life is going to be a disaster, so he may as well just be be friendly and be nice. And I get it. I understand. Um, I would be as mean to her as the law allowed me to be while doing my job, which probably isn't mean at all. But Yeah, I'm not faulting him for being nice, but... Yeah, so she is a terrible person. And I have done a video about Shanda or Shonda Vander Ark and, and, and her son Paul Ferguson and what they did to the Timothy. But uh I may do another revamped one. Um a wonderful viewer sent me all of the text messages. So I am going to be doing a video discussing the text messages. So we'll get into that. They're red acted and I don't want to sit here, sit there and like post them all and show them to you. Um, I'm going to read them to you and maybe I'll have Eric read them with me and he could read Paul's text and I could read Shonda's and then we'll, we'll comment on them as we go. Uh, but we are going to be doing that. Um, I'm going to be doing that. I'm sure Eric will, will do that with me. You know, he's, She's just, the evil in this world is just, with her, Stephen Stearns, these idiots that unalive Kinsley, the, you know, Adam Montgomery, it just, why? Why? Why are they allowed to exist on this planet with us? I don't understand. Why do we have to exist with them? with this kind of evil. It, I don't understand it. I don't understand. And, um, I don't care what happens to her in prison. I don't care if she finds Jesus. I don't care what she does. She is a dirty, evil cow. And we just, good for her good for that judge for locking her away for life. And honestly, I think Paul Ferguson her son deserves to be right where he is too. And, um, because I do believe that he is a danger to society because he got off on what he did to Timothy. But again, not to get into that, I'm going to be talking about Paul in another video very soon. I'm actually working on the notes for that right now. I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about this video or talk about this arrest. So, um, Visit Rottweiler Investigations. Uh, they put up amazing videos, um, great coverage, like all the uh, body police body cams and stuff from this investigation. Uh, I'll probably use some of their clips, but please go watch Rottweiler Investigations. They're amazing. It's an amazing channel. Channel. They do a great job. Um, so please go check them out. And um, yeah, so that's it. I'll talk to everyone later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.